Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from VitalCoaching.com. The topic for this video is welcome to the fifth uh, dimension, six, seven, twenty dimensions. You know, right now we live in a world where there is space and time, right? Three dimensions of space and uh, one dimension of time. So once you start uh, living within that reality, you that's the frame, the traditional frame. But imagine that right now we can enter into uh, a new dimension. A dimension that bypasses the limitations of those four dimensions. And uh, the question for you is this. If we have the three dimensions of space and then the dimension of time, that's four dimension, which one is the fifth dimension? <laughs> when you talk about fifth dimension, what, what is it? You know? And um, I want to give you a moment here just to pause and simply ask you, what, what is it? The fifth dimension, what is it? Any ideas? What comes to mind? If you know what the answer is or what, what, your, what is your feeling, just uh, post in the comments and, and tell me. Okay, here is... Here is my, um, my feeling about it. And uh, when I was looking at it, I was like, fifth dimension, what does that mean exactly? And what came to mind is this. Um, it is, the first thing that came to mind is it's spirit. I always have the feeling that when you tap into the fifth dimension, it's like tapping into a vertical alignment. You are in the, you know, in the plane of existence with, with time and space. And that's, a, that's like an horizontal dimension and you go vertical. Then suddenly there is something that is being accessed that gives you a window into a reality that in which we don't usually live in. I believe that angelic forces, powers, gods and goddesses, they live a lot in the, in the fifth dimension. When you tap into nirvana, when you tap into this state of ecstasy and bliss, then, um, then that's when you tap into the fifth dimension. So the first thing that was coming to mind was spirit. And then I realized that there is something else and it is energy. It is the idea that everything is energetically interconnected. So when we say everything is made of energy and we start realizing the entanglement Right? You heard about these experiments of uh, quantum teleportation where you link two particles, you entangle them, and then you put them really far apart. Then you change the state of the first particle and the state of the second particle will instantly change. So the consequences of that, when you look at human behaviors and human, um, uh, the human mind, it means, you know, if you take that one step further, it means that if my mind gets entangled with somebody else's mind. We go into this deep, profound state of meditation together. And then we go far apart from each other. <laughs> and I change my mind. I make a change in my mind. Then that other person's mind is going to change or be modified equally. Like, you know, at least to a certain extent. So we could call that um, quantum telepathy. You know, it's understanding from the physics perspective how my experience is going to influence somebody else's experience who is not physically present. You heard about these experiments with, um, with mice and other animals, I think, where um, those animals in a certain location around the world learn something and then other animals that aren't physically connected with with that specific tribe or this that specific group of animals learns the same behavior change even though they never met physically okay so there is a kind of to access that you need to go into the collective you need to realize that there is some form of field of collective field through which information is being transmitted and so when we look at uh, at uh, at this then that's when we enter into fifth dimension. We enter into something that is mind blowing. That is fucking like, what? How is that possible? Because within the reality of our five senses and the reality of what we perceive physically, it doesn't make sense. But it's possible because we enter through this warm hole, this energetic space where the laws of nature shift. There is a fundamental shift 
in our perception of what it means to be alive. And what I believe is that we are going to start slowly moving into being able to live in fifth dimension. For instance, here is another example. I'm sure that you experienced in your life some magical synchronicity, right? You go like, wow, you know, we were meant to meet. We were meant. I was meant to encounter that person who changed my life. The window for that meeting, there was like a five second possibility for us to actually encounter each other. We could have missed that opportunity. So that synchronicity happened. And from that moment on, my life was changed forever because you married that person or something magical happened. That person offered you an opportunity that you didn't have otherwise or something magical anyway takes place. So within the synchronicities, the moment you start thinking about entanglement, you start thinking about energetic resonance or limbic resonance, you start thinking about all these possibilities where energies are intertwined with each other and you tap into the collective field, then suddenly you are in the field of energetics. And so in that field of energetics, it means that your life is being guided not from a rational, linear, uh, four dimension, fourth dimension kind of reality, but from something else coming in that is uh, magical and that our rational brain is not yet fully trained to understand. Okay, so again, what is this fifth dimension? You know, right now we are, you know, just diverting our energy into that space and trying to figure out what that means. But what I want to tell you is that, yeah, I believe that there is fifth dimension. And, you know, once we start tapping into the multiverses and so on, there is more coming up. It means we're our rational brain as human beings, our, uh, our ability to understand through logic is really limited, okay? There, there are parts of our being that can comprehend things intuitively that we cannot rationalize. We don't have the rational brains because our rational thinking or our logical thinking has only so much ability to comprehend the amount of information and the amount of impressions that is impacting on our being right now. For instance, right now, you know, I'm being impacted by all sorts of waves, you know, electromagnetic fields and radio waves and um, radiance from the sun and every plant here is having an impact on my field. And then the experiences of every person who has been living in this house before and the colors and the sounds and the weather and the impact of a volcano that is about to explode, you know, 30 kilometers from here and all that stuff, you know, it's a lot of, of information and all those elements are having an energetic impact in my field. They are. They are impacted because we are connected through the field of energy. So my rational brain might not be able to mentally, logically understand all that. Because it's too much. It's too much information. And it's information that I cannot rationally measure. I cannot measure it with my logic, but it's impacting in my field. And the way it is impacting my field, it creates, we, once you start diving into the intuitive reality, and for instance, I can start tuning into the life of a certain plant, or the life of my cat, or life of a certain insect, or the life of a friend who is having a challenge somewhere, or the life of the island, or again, what is the emotional state of the volcano that is about to erupt there? Is there an emotion there? So I can tune, I can meditate on that and try to merge my energy with that or merge my energy with a culture of, of value where I'm right now. See, all that is, is really magical because once we start tapping into that, we start tapping into the field of energy. It's no longer about time and space. There is something else essential that comes into that and um, Right now, this is what I'm, I'm one, what I'm adopting as the fifth dimension for me. That's it. It's energy. It fits better than spirit. Spirit is a bit fake, but energy is something that we can relate to, and that doesn't require some, you know, mystical um, understanding of life. It's just like that's the reality of life. There is an electromagnetic vibration in the plant right there, in the field of this house that is impacting in my field right now, and so and through that impact lots of magical things are happening, okay?
<laughs> That's it. This is for me, the fifth dimension, energy. What do you think? Send me some feedback. I want to hear about you. I love you and I'll see you soon for another mind-blowing video.